With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let me explain this question to a particle executes a system with frequency 4 Hz. Frequency with which its potential energy oscillate is there are 4 options given. Ok, so let's take an example. A particle executing SHM on this straight line and this is mean position x equals to 0. It is mean position, this is positive extreme position and this is negative extreme position. If particle starts SHM from equilibrium position and moving to, towards positive extreme position, it will go to the it will go to the positive extreme position, then return back to its mean position. But motion, uh, but this is not one oscillation, this is half oscillation. Now it will go to the negative extreme position and then it will come back. This is called one oscillation because after that it will repeat the motion. So because after that, uh, since particle starts from mean position moving towards positive extreme position, then after that it will also moving towards positive extreme position. So this is called one complete oscillation and time taken to complete this oscillation is called time period and frequency of oscillation is one upon time period. Frequency means number of oscillation completed in one second. So time period to complete uh, one oscillation. So here uh, we are talking about frequency of velocity or acceleration or displacement. This is called frequency of SHM means when velocity repeated, when displacement repeated, when acceleration repeated and time taken to repeat its velocity acceleration and displacement. Now we, uh, we talk about potential energy. So at mean position potential energy is zero and at extreme position it is maximum and then particle return to the mean position potential energy will again equals to zero. So this is one oscillation for potential energy. This is one oscillation for potential energy which is half oscillation for SHL or you can say velocity or displacement or acceleration. So time period of oscillation of potential energy is half the time period of SHM. So let's say time period of oscillation of potential energy is T dash. So it will be equals to T by 2. That means time period is half and here you can see frequency is inversely proportional to the time period. So if time period is half that means frequency is 2 times frequency of SHM. So correct option is this is equals to 2 into frequency of SHM is 4. So this will be equals to 8 hertz. So correct option is 8 hertz. I hope you have understood this explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.